Hi everybody, thanks so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate it a lot. So to get right into it, a while ago, I did a review on this knife, the Kodiak, and it was a pretty well received video actually. It inspired a lot of healthy and lively discussion in the comments section. I really enjoyed that. And when it was all said and done, most of us were in agreement that a tool like this is not really a standalone option. It's best as part of a trio. This with a smaller knife and a saw make a pretty good kit to take out in the woods. But some of you thought that a knife like this really has little value as part of your kit. You much rather use a hatchet. I get that, hatchets are great. I have a bunch of them and I enjoy using them. But one hatchet in particular came up over and over again as being your favorite. And in fact, I got an email from somebody who asked me to compare this knife to their favorite hatchet. That's what we're gonna do today. Here it is, the Outdoor Axe, designed by Lars Fault with Grants Force Brooks. And it is a pretty nice axe, actually. Designed to be used in ways that a hatchet or an axe wouldn't normally be used. So I think it's going to be a pretty good comparison with the Kodiak. When I saw this, I had to have it. Let's take a look, see how they compare. Just doing some general chopping and splitting tasks. Nothing too crazy. Let's take a look. So here they are, side by side. They're about the same size, take up about the same space in the pack. The Kodiak is just a little bit heavier. Both of these tools are very sharp, shaving sharp actually. So I think it's gonna be a pretty fair and interesting comparison. First, let's try out the Kodiak. This is about a two to two and a half inch piece of seasoned maple. Pretty good test for a cutting tool of this size. So let's get chopping. Pretty good penetration on the first chop. Not too bad. One more might do it. So pretty good penetration, nice clean cut on the Kodiak. Let's try the outdoor axe, same piece of wood, just a little bit farther down the trunk. Now for the outdoor axe. Pretty good penetration on this one too. Nice clean cut, no problem. Okay, splitting. I have two pieces of wood here, about the same size. They're both full of knots. Pretty good comparison, I would say. Let's start with the outdoor ax. Now this is a pretty good sized piece of wood for a little axe like this, I would say. Very interesting to see how it works out. Well, not bad penetration. Hitting some of those knots. There we go. Pretty good job. The outdoor axe. And we can do this again. And get her to stand. All right. Let's take a shot with the Kodiak. 
Not bad penetration again with the Kodiak. Just getting through a knot right now. There we go. Try this again. So I would say usually with tools like these, we'd be doing contact splitting. Let's see how they do with contact splitting. Yeah, the outdoor axe is made for this. That uh, wedgy head penetrates. Splits easily. Nice work. Yep, very nice job. Made short work of that in the contact splitting. We can try the Kodiak now. Kodiak might end up being a little bit awkward. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. But gets the job done too. Get that nice penetration with it. Actually, once you get used to it, it's not all that awkward, actually. Pretty good job too, the Kodiak. Let's try batoning now. So here we got a couple of nasty pieces of wood. These won't split or baton easily. They're dry, they're well seasoned, both are knotty and all twisted. So it's gonna be a challenge for either tool. This one's a little bit taller maybe, but it's the best I could do and It'll be a challenge for either tool. So uh, let's start batoning. All right, first the Kodiak. This is a nasty piece of wood. Nasty. Let's give it a shot. Man, oh man, I wouldn't want to do this with a big axe. Here she goes. Twisted. So, the outdoor axe is on deck. Let's see how it does.
might be starting to split a little bit, but this is not splitting that well. There we go. There we go. Once that wedge got engaged, all was good. That was pretty nasty too. So as requested, big knife versus the outdoor axe. Was there a clear winner today? Tough to say. I do have a comment or two. Uh, some people may look at this sweetheart of an axe and say that looks like a good beginner's axe. It's nice and small and compact. I just want to caution you, nothing is further from the truth. The short handle and that small cutting surface could be very easy to miss your target. And with the short handle, the follow through could be horrible. So just something to keep in mind. I would say something like this is a little bit more for the advanced user. Because when you're swinging it, it has kind of a light head. Accuracy is very important. Contrasted with the big knife, it's a little bit heavier. It's got about a 9 inch cutting surface. A little easier to find your mark. But I'm not saying... This is a bad tool. They're both excellent tools. I wouldn't hesitate to use either one of these in the woods. But interesting enough, I've been chatting with somebody over email who's doing some pretty advanced uh, bushcraft projects, building bow staves, and he recently got a big chopper. He had been using a hatchet, and he's finding that knife much more accurate, easier to use. He feels much safer using the knife to do some bushcraft tasks. So something to keep in mind, maybe both of them could have a spot in your kit depending on what you're doing. Which one performed better today? Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to leave that up to you. Leave a comment down below. Which one do you think performed better today and tell me why. I want to hear what you think people. As usual, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video right to the end. It means a lot to me actually. One more thing. It helps the channel out immensely if you leave a thumbs up or like the video. And as well, new subscribers are always welcome. So we'll see you soon on the next video. But in the meantime, take care everybody. Bye for now.